how about this? I'm going to jump ahead. I have an 84 year old with advanced CKD4, multiple medical problems, residing in a skilled nursing facility. He comes to clinic with his family to discuss modality options for dialysis. So is there any difference in, uh, in survival for folks on dialysis at this age in a skilled nursing facility? What, how, how should that, what should that conversation encompass? Yeah, let me be sure of the facts. He's 84, he's in a nursing home. What comorbidities does he have? Um, just some uh, chronic uh, congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease that's stable, uh, wheel, you know, wheelchair bound from arthritic complaints. Um, so just overall decline in functional status and inability sure. to help at home. Sure. Most, most patients in nursing homes have some decline in activities of daily living. And honestly, since functional status is a key determinant of prognosis for dialysis patients, that suggests that his prognosis is worse. The fact that he's in a nursing home conveys a worse prognosis. The fact that he's over 80 years old converse, you know, conveys a worse prognosis. Now, he's a, what'd you say, CKD stage four? CKD four, he's le GFR is less than 20, so we need to talk about, do we, you know, per peritoneal dialysis is not an option because he's not independent living. Hemodialysis is the option, you know, and, and then all the concerns with, you know, do you place a fistula or graft or will the, he, he sure. die with a fistula that hasn't matured and everything else, but also broaching the topic of conservative kidney care. Um, right. So, so I think I would talk, I would say, you know, if he were younger and didn't have medical problems, we'd be looking at four options. We'd be looking at transplant. We'd be looking at home dialysis options. You know, we'd be looking at peritoneal dialysis. But in his case, you know, we're talking about hemodialysis in center or medical management without dialysis. And um, you could ask him, do you, do you, what do you know about each of those? And if he says, well, I don't know very much, well, then I would ask permission. With your permission, can I share with you a little bit about both of them? And would it be all right if I even made a recommendation? And, you know, see if that's okay with them too. Most patients want that. And then you can make your recommendation based on his clinical condition. Now, the thing that I've left out that would be good to know too is, you know, what his values are. You know, some patients want to live as long and as well as possible and die gently and really wouldn't want to have a lot of surgery and a lot of medical treatment at the end of life. And many, many patients in his situation might say, I, you know, I wouldn't want to go on dialysis. But on the other hand, his values might be my great grandson, you know, is, is you know, about to have his uh, first grade graduation or something. <laughs> I want to be alive to be there in two months or something. You know, so you really have to figure out what's important to him, what's he living for, what his goals are. But all things being equal, if he didn't have, you know, a crucial life event coming up, I wouldn't recommend, you know, going on dialysis to him because the studies that have been done suggest he may not benefit from dialysis and he may, might not live any longer with it than without it. And even if he lives longer, then you have to take into account the dialysis-free days versus dialysis days. Exactly, right? exactly.